Okay, let's figure out the size of the simple cubic interstitial site. <clears throat> so what I want to do is, first of all, draw out the simple cubic lattice. So we've got a cube there, and I'm going to position an anion in each of the corners. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to position a cation in the center of the cube. <clears throat> and what we want to figure out, we want to try to solve for really what's this radius ratio of the size of the cation to the size of the anion. <clears throat> you can't perhaps see immediately um, what it is for this particular um, site because the geometry is not immediately obvious. But what I want to do is I want to say, let, let's see if we, if we cut this cube in half along this cube diagonal, okay, like this, then we, we identify this plane. It's a rectangle that slices the cube into these um, into two halves across that face, the top and bottom face diagonal. So if we now draw that um, that plane out, well that plane is it's not going to be a square, is it? It's going to be uh, it's going to be a rectangle. Okay, why is it going to be a rectangle? Um, let me draw that in the black color just so that it's consistent with the sketch. It's going to be a rectangle because we know that this height here is A, the lattice parameter, okay, and this edge across the bottom is created by A and uh, traversing that hypotenuse across this, this triangle with edges of A and A. So <clears throat> this green uh, bottom face diagonal has a length of root 2A. So if I write that in over here, I hope it will be clear to you. We've got a longer edge here, length root 2a, and then we've got this shorter edge of length a. Now we need to position those um, atoms in. And what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and I'll put the cation. It's right in the very center of the cube, so it resides in the center of this rectangle. <clears throat> and then the anions that we had again existed at the corners. Now I'm showing them just in, as these small little reduced spheres because it simplifies the sketch. You know, if I if I instead wanted to show you the, um, the full size, for example, of this corner, I'd say, well, it has to touch this one across there. It has to come out to halfway on there and halfway here. So I'd have to draw somehow this fraction of an atom like this at that corner and if I did that for all the eight corners it would quickly get messy so instead we draw the little reduced spheres but that doesn't capture the actual size of the atom so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some anions in here and I hope this will work okay great so there's one there's another it should be roughly the same size and I'm trying to make them touch across the edge there and and there we go. So that is uh, fairly close to uh, a good sketch, I think. It's not too bad. What we uh, are trying to discover here is what is the size of this central cation that will just fit in and touch those four anions without pushing them apart. Okay, so that's the critical size uh, or critical value of this ratio <coughs> for R C to R A. And if we look at that, we can perhaps see, uh, make a uh, best guess at what it, uh, it might be. I mean, it looks to me as though it's, the red one is less than the large one, it's, but it's greater than 50%. You know, it, that is, if I drew another red circle, I took that same red circle here, the red cation, same size, but then and said I moved it over to here. Well, you can see it's greater than 50%. So we should, we know going into this, it's greater than 0 0.5. Um, but it should be, you know, what does that look like? It's, it's less than 0 0.75, probably. Less than 0 0.75, although pretty close to 75%, I would say. That almost proceeds out three quarters of the way. So how are we going to solve this? 
Well, we can work with this nice little um, nice little cube egg or, or um, hypotenuse here, the orange line. And so the length of that orange line is one radius for the anion, two radii for the anion, two anion radii plus one, two uh, cation radii. Okay, and then this angle down here we could call uh, theta. <coughs> so if we take sine of theta, we know that that's equal to this length here, which is 2 times the radius of the anion. So it's opposite 2 radius of the anion over the hypotenuse there, which is 2 times the radius of the anion plus 2 times the radius of the cation. Cancel out those pesky little 2's and just give myself a little bit more room here. And we'll have that Ra sine theta equals, uh, correction, plus, plus Rc sine theta equals Ra. And then we'll just take both sides and divide by Ra, okay? And we find that that becomes one, as does this. And so we have this nice result, as we did for the octahedral site. Remember, we proceeded similarly, except we had a nice two-dimensional slice um, to, to begin with, um, without having to do the, the little bit of extra geometry coming across the cube diagonal here. So what we're, we end up with is RC over RA is equal to 1 minus sine theta over sine theta. And finally, what is theta? Well, theta is equal to, um, we can just take theta equals tan inverse of, I'll show you the angle over here, right? It was opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be A or 1 over root 2. And we find that that is in fact equal to 35 degrees. So if we substitute that back into this equation, we have RC over RA for the simple cubic site. Equal to, what did we think it was going to be? We thought it was going to be close to 75%, right? That's what uh, we, th we thought it should be. Looks like I turned that, there we go. When we did this little discussion here, we said we thought it was going to be about 75%. So let's figure it out now, as perhaps you've already done. <coughs> And the answer is 0 0.732. Perfect. That's what we thought it should be. Thank you.